Okay, so what we have back here is the, the back of the drive cage, um, and this is a SAS 3 backplane. So it supports the 24 drives that are installed in the front, and it has two uh, mini SAS connectors here that drive all of the logical connections to the, um, to the discs themselves. So those cables are here connected to this um, SAS controller and the controller is what handles all of the PCI paths to say, you know, this drive is here, this drive is there, and that's how it identifies them. Power goes straight into the SAS backplane, so there are six Molex power connectors here that pull off of the redundant PSUs on the side. So we're just gonna clean this up a little bit, and um, then we'll talk a little bit about the, the baffle and the fan wall and all that stuff. The baffle, which is this plastic piece right here, so this is molded over the um, heat sinks for the dual CPUs and the, the RAM sticks. And it pulls air, or it, it directs air from these two fans here in the fan wall that um, is forced over the CPU heat sinks and over the RAM and their heat sinks, and then exhausted out through these two fans in the back. Um, so we're going to remove the baffle and we're going to clean out everything that's underneath it. These fans are hot swappable, quick release, so no tools required. And the baffle is also toolless, so it just comes right out. And now we can see our heat sinks here and our RAM. And we're going to dust that stuff because look how nasty that is. That stuff's been in there for years. One of the things that I wanted to do today was take these heat sinks off and uh, replace the thermal paste on them. So we're going to do that too. Everyone's going to hate this. But this is how I usually put thermal paste on. A lot of people say you should just put a glob in the center or you should draw a smiley face or whatever. This might be too much. I don't think it's too much. Usually give it a test. Right, we're gonna just check and make sure that that thermal paste is spread evenly. That's not enough, that it's enough, not too much. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Look at that, beautiful coverage. All right, and Bob's your uncle, beautiful. So this right here is a little tiny, I believe it's a sand disc? Yeah, sand disc. It's a sand disc eight gigabyte USB key. So this is what holds the operating system for this server, right? So just like your computer runs Windows, this server runs an OS called Unraid. And um, Unraid is a Linux flavor that is designed to be booted off of a USB key every time. And it loads itself into memory and then it runs from memory. The only time it writes to this USB key is when it boots and when it shuts down. That's it. So it's designed to be stored inside the server case. So one thing that a lot of nice um, server hardware has is internal USB port storage for this kind of system. And this is kind of a unique thing that you don't see in desktop computers along with dual CPUs and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure that I pointed out that the operating system for this doesn't live on any of these drives. It lives on this little USB flash drive plugged directly into the motherboard inside the case. I want to show you how loud this is because uh, I don't think we got a shot of that. So let's do that um, with the current fans and then we'll put the new fans in and the new power supply and we'll see how quiet it is after that. Is. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. 
as you can hear, it's loud as fuck. So we're reading 77 decibels on the back end here. Look at that, 79. So the reason that we had to upgrade these fans is because this is just too ridiculously loud to have in my kitchen all the time. It was driving me nuts. As you can see, we're at 80 decibels. Um, we're going to put the new fans in. We're going to put the new power supply in, and we're going to see uh, how much quieter it really is. So the nice thing about these fans that I bought is they cycle at about 1,000 to 3,000 RPM. I think 2,800 is when they top out. They have a decibel rating of 20 decibels, right? These have a decibel rating of 60 each fan. Um, Noctua's that I looked at as a replacement were would have required me to take this fan wall apart and rig them on here somehow, which I could have done. But I did some more research and found out that Supermicro makes these fans and these um, hot swap chassis so that you can just drop in and replace uh, these fans for, for quieter performance. Um, these are designed for their um, ultra quiet desktop models, but they fit in these slots perfectly. So you'll see when we remove this that they have almost the exact same design and fitting. They're slightly different. This fan is a lot thicker and it rotates at um, two to 7,000 RPM. So it's a lot louder and it moves a lot more air. This one is much quieter, it's much um, thinner and it doesn't move nearly as much air, but this server doesn't work hard enough to really warrant these high powered um, data center style fans. And it lives in my kitchen. So we're just gonna swap these three out. And this was honestly the easiest part of the upgrade. Just popping these guys in and out. Uh, yep, so that's that. Now we've got those three done. Nice new clean fans, so we don't need to worry about cleaning those up. Now the back fans are a little bit different, okay? so. The chassis design on them, if you'll notice, is slightly different than what we were looking at before. So I'll show you the difference. It's almost the same thickness, but it's actually a little bit thinner. There's no handle on the top. The clips are reversed, and um, so are the power terminals. The design on the screen on the front is still a little bit different too. So with these, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do because they don't make a drop-in replacement that's at 20 decibels for this fan. But I got a hunch that these fans would fit in this chassis. And so I took one of these out of this piece and removed this and popped it in there. And what do you know, it fit perfectly. So I just have to swap these two out, uh, which we're going to do now. And um, then we'll drop them right in these slots. Easy peasy. Fans are installed. We got these two in the back here. They're nice and quiet. The three in the center for the fan wall. Um, we've dusted. Everything's nice and clean. Cleanest it's been in years. The last thing we're gonna do is change out these power supplies. So these power supplies, the two of them right here, are they are redundant, hot swappable power supplies. So while the machine is on, I can pull this trigger and pop this power supply out. These are 80 plus gold, 1200 watt power supplies, okay? And they're designed to run um, together so that this server can have at most 1200 watts of um, power consumption through one power supply. Usually each power supply is driving about 50% of the load. Um, this server doesn't get anywhere near that power consumption. I think it at most pulls like 400 watts, but it usually idles at about 200. So what we have to replace it is a um, 80 plus platinum uh, 920 watt SQ model. So this is a super micro power supply. The SQ, guess what it stands for? Super quiet. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, so I did some research to make sure that these power supplies are compatible. You can see here that the pinouts are the same and uh, the other side, they're the same. They're the same dimensions. The biggest difference is that this is a much more efficient power supply and it is uh, much quieter. So it's almost silent while it runs. Now, because of the difference in um, wattages, we can't run two power supplies at the same time. So I'd have to buy another one of these. These retail brand new for about $500. Um, I got this refurbished on eBay for about a hundred bucks. Um, so, you know, the fans that I bought, they were about $20 a piece, um, which was about what the cost of the Noxuas would have been. It's just, they fit better in this casing. So uh, that's why I went with them. Um, you know, nobody, I would never buy this brand new, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install this. This slot here. Yeah, okay. So now instead of two power supplies, we're just gonna have the one, which is fine. We don't need to. Um, pop that in. Wow. How quiet is that? Let's see what our decibel meter says. As you can tell from the fact that I'm not shouting anymore. Uh, this thing's much quieter. Barely a light hum. Your refrigerator the, ref is louder. the refrigerator is louder. Here are our old parts that have served us faithfully over the past, oh gosh, it's been what, three or four years that I've had this thing? I think that's about right. Those are, those are new, these guys right here. Can't even begin to imagine how many times these fans have rotated. That's it. I guess the, uh, the last thing I wanna say is thank you. I personally get loads of enjoyment out of it, um, running it, working on it. I will be happy to keep you posted as things change with the server. Um, and that's it. Do you really have a shitload of porn on this thing? No, no. <laughs> Why would I keep porn on it? Who downloads porn? Come on. It's a ridiculous thing to do.